So I'm standing in front of two Velux skylights that I'm about to destroy, but before I do that, let me give you a little bit of backstory and tell you why I'm gonna destroy these skylights. So these are both Velux skylights, but there's some key differences. I need everybody watching this to ignore the size difference. It has nothing to do with the test we're about to do. That just happened to be the one I was able to get. Same with this one. But this one was bought at a big box store that anybody can go in and purchase you know, a skylight at. This was bought at a professional roofing supply house. Um, the difference between these skylights is in the glass. This skylight here has multiple panes of glass, but they're all tempered. This skylight has a tempered top layer and a laminated bottom layer of glass. So obviously the laminated one is going to cost more money, but there's a reason why we only install these. Let me get into that. If you've ever had the side windows of your car busted, broken into, something like that, you'll notice that the glass breaks into a million different pieces. It's very hard to clean up. You almost never find all the pieces of glass. Well, that's tempered glass. The sides of your cars, uh, the, the side glass is all tempered glass. If you notice your windshield, your windshield, everybody's had a rock hit it or something and it just cracks. It never really breaks all the way through. That's laminated glass. So that's the key difference between tempered and laminated. Tempered is supposed to not have as many sharp edges, but if you've ever had to clean up that glass in your car, you can still cut yourself a little bit, but there's no real big sharp, like, you know, shank size pieces of glass. The reason I'm even sharing this is because with these being available at big box stores, it's kind of dangerous for people because International Residential Code, which is the building code that all the homes in the United States, just about, I mean, there's some exceptions, but most of the homes in the United States have to abide by its minimum code requirements, requires that if any part of this glass is higher than 12 feet above the ground level, which is the floor that you're in, or that you're standing on, it has to be laminated. Now, when you go into the big box stores, they don't tell you that. So I do see a lot of people, they go and they get these skylights, they think they're gonna save a lot of money, they hire some random guy to install them, and now you, now, you know, the skylight's not even up to code. This can present itself if you go to sell the house, but it could be an issue if you have an inspector that knows what they're looking for. But bigger than that, there's a reason that code is there. It is a safety thing. If you have, just imagine this being in your bathroom, a limb hits it, and now all of a sudden you have millions of pieces of glass, a lot of people don't wear shoes in their bathroom. You walk in, you really don't have any idea or you just heard the thud and all of a sudden you're cutting your feet. That's why this code is in place. And that's why just as a default, we're always gonna use laminated. So now I wanna go to the fun part of the video. I want to actually take my hammer here. I'm gonna put some PPE on and I'm going to attempt to try and break these skylights so that you guys can see the difference between tempered and laminated skylights. All right, so I've got a 22 ounce hammer here. This should do the trick. I've never done this before, so let's just see what happens. I've seen where people, you hit it in the corner and it breaks. I might have to hit it a couple times. Let's just see. So that broke the first pane of glass and you can see it is literally falling into a million small pieces. It was a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it would, it would take as much force, but you can see there's still another layer of glass here. So now that we've got this out of the way, I'm going to break the second layer. There it is. All right, so you can see it's in a million pieces. That first pane of glass was a lot easier to break than the second, and I think what's going on, this is where you have the rubber gaskets. Uh, 
that sit on the curb of this skylight. And I think that's actually absorbing a lot of the shock. But you can imagine just walking into your house and that's what's on the floor. So let's move over to the laminated one. Now that I have a better idea of how to break these and let's try to do the same test. You can see real quick, there's nothing here. I'm going all the way through this skylight now. All right, let's break this one. All right. So you can see here that top layer um, of tempered glass is broken. Now I'm going to hit the bottom layer and you can see I've already put an impact in that, but this should not crumble into a million pieces. So. I think that proves the difference between laminated and tempered glass. So where, whereas the tempered glass basically, eventually after a couple hits, turns into nothing and anything can get through, if this were to get impacted, that top layer of tempered glass can, can break, but this laminated glass should hold it all up there. Um, this can still leak. Once this is done, once that top layer of glass is broken, the skylight has to be replaced. But for the safety factor alone, this is a lot safer than having that. And that is why at Restoration Roofing and Mid-South Skylights, this is the only type we will install. We will never install a tempered glass skylight. It's just not worth it. The little bit more money that you spend makes this 10 times better. Thanks for watching.